This game wrap is brought to you by El Charlo Mexican Restaurant, located at Highway 78 and 3009 in Shirts. By Cat5 Graphics, your t-shirt shop. Hi everyone, Mr. Bowtie here. Thank you so much for checking out my content and my channel. Now make sure you bang home that red subscribe button on YouTube so that way you can stay up to date on the latest content from around the area that you won't find anywhere else. And follow me on Twitter at Mr. Bowtie1982. Thank you so much and enjoy the show. In this episode, we examine the 27-6A volleyball rivalry match between Cibolo Steele and defending state semifinalist Shirts Clemens. There is Canada Buchanan, number eight, one of the many seniors returning off last year's 44-5 team, now in a leadership role after the Buffaloes graduated a lot of seniors off their 2019 team. The Knights look to improve off their fourth place district finish from a year ago, especially with New Braunfels Canyon now in 5A. They are led by sisters Katana and Mausolina Tufoli, number 17 and 19. Think volleyball is easy? Not quite, according to this window decal that was found on one of the cars parked in the parking lot. Football coaches Jared Johnston and David Sines on hand, who might think football is just as hard. The Buffaloes had a 70-match streak end earlier this season when winning at least one set, but they came into the match having won 72 of their last 74 such matches. First set, Clemens had a seven-point lead early on, but the Knights rallied. They scored the final four points of the set, capped off by a katana to fully kill to win 25-22 as the Knights looked for their first district win over Clemens in six years. Second set, Steele had a six-point lead early in that set. Let's pick it up with the Knights holding on to a 22-21 lead, looking for a two sets to none advantage. Lemon scored four of the final five points, three off Buchanan kills and blocks to take the set 25-23 to tie the match up at one. Third set, Clemens rode that momentum and led most of the set by as many as six. Let's pick up the action with Clemens up 21-17. Buchanan again overpowered the Knight front line in the third set. Buffaloes took that one 25-18 to go up 2-1. Communication, having fun, and basically fixing our errors like right off the bat is like super important because when we get down, we kind of go in that slope. So coming together and getting there as a team was really, really important for us. Fourth set with shades of the 32-30 set Clemens lost against Trophy Club Byron Nelson in the semis. Clemens led 23-19 and it looked like they were on their way to the match victory. But the Knights ran off a huge rally taking advantage of several Clemens mistakes. Five straight points gave them a set point chance for fifth set. Both teams had service errors, which led to a second set point for Steele. The kill kept the set alive for Clemens at 25. Steele, though, would get another opportunity. Ball dug up and sent to Katana to fully for the kill. Knights back up 26-25 and a third set point chance. But the Buffaloes again saved it as the Knights could not handle Krishlin Morena's kill attempt and the set continued. It was time then for Madison Mulkey to go to work and end the match. The Southpaw sent her first kill off the night middle line to give them their first match point. Her second kill on that match point found a hole between the front line and the libero, and that was it. Steele was actually three points from winning the match altogether, but instead Clemens won it in four, their 11th straight district match win over their rivals. I saw that line was open on the outside, so I just hit that shot. The end, we were up by like five or six, and then we fell short a few points, but we always push each other, and I think when we talk and communicate with each other, 
um, that really helps us a lot. At the end, we got, um, we pushed, I think, the last three points, which we really needed. Warming up, getting your team to get together and push yourself, and when you finally hit that roll and when you know you're going, it's a great thing. Like, we came out, we pulled it out, and we pushed ourselves really hard. It gives us a lot of confidence and the want to work harder every single time, knowing that we could beat this team. We felt like we're good for all the other games. Clemens 2-1 and one in district while Steele drops 2-2. Two two. Smithson Valley still leads at 3-0 and oh in a very tight 27-6A. Reporting from Cibolo, I'm Greg Sherman.